the first of the tools that I want to show you, and they are not, they are no big deals. It's just that you can look at methods, technical indicators in different ways. See, when I showed you the Nifty chart, I told you that there is a range, a trading range. And once you, the trading range broke out, there was a very, very impressive rally. This is the behavior of the market. There is compression. When the compression changes into expansion, you see a big move. So as a short-term trader or even as a short-term investor, we, are, we want to identify periods when there is compression going on. Why do we want to identify compression? Because the next step in a compression is expansion. So if we can identify compression, we can simply wait patiently using the methods that we develop and enter into that ride that will start when compression and changes into expansion. One of the ways to do this is to use the, a, an indicator called the average true range. We'll just uh, uh, abbreviate it to ATR. So the average true range was created by Wellness Builder. He was a March master technician. He passed away, I think, just a few months ago. He's one of the innovators of technical analysis. The ATR, which is the average true range, I will now talk about it as the ATR. The ATR tells us whether the market is compressing or expanding. So essentially the range, when the ATR starts falling, it tells us that the range is getting compressed. If the range is getting compressed, then the market is in a compression. When the ATR starts rising, it tells us that the range is expanding. So we want to enter a stock or a trade in the Nifty, Bank Nifty or anywhere else when the ATR starts rising after a decline. Now, the ATR by itself is difficult to identify because the ATR falls and then it rises. So we have to have some rules. So the simplest rule is that if the ATR crosses the previous high, that tells us that it is rising. Otherwise, what is the definition of rising and falling? Sometimes the ATR will move up and down a little bit jaggedly. So what a simple way of saying is that when the ATR makes a higher high, When it breaks up the previous high, consider this as the start of expansion. It's as simple as it gets. This is the average two range. Now, uh, this is the previous high. This is the high where it uh, crosses. This is the point at which the ATR goes up. If you are an intraday trader, and this is the 15 minute Nifty chart, you might like to buy here and then you see a rally. Now the ATR again crosses just towards the end of the day. Obviously you can't buy or sell here because the market is now closing. So you could maybe buy a straddle thinking that in an expansion, one leg of the straddle will make more money than the leg that actually loses money in an option. I'll just explain to you what a straddle is. I'm sure you know it. And sure enough, the next day the market had a gap down and the ATR went to the roof and one of your legs would have made more money than the losses. Now intraday again, we see that the ATR made a higher high. High, and it crossed the high. This is the point at which the ATR made a higher high. You go long and you get a decent intraday trade. Again, a higher high, again, the market is closing, you buy a straddle because it's now you're trading for the next day. Again, we see this period when the ATR makes a higher high, here the ATR was falling, but it makes a higher high. Now you go short because the market is falling. And again, finally, the ATR crosses and you, you take a long position because the market is rising. About this rising and falling, I'll explain to you. But the, my point is that this is a simple method of an intraday trading uh, idea. Watch the ATR. When it starts making higher highs, go long or go short depending on how the charts are moving. So in three trades, three days, we got six trades, four intra and two carry forward. That's pretty good. What does the intra mean? An intraday trade is a trade that you can settle on that day itself. And a straddle is simply to buy a put and a call both because tomorrow, you know that there will be expansion, but you don't know which side. So you buy these options, hoping that one of them will make enough money to compensate for the loss of the other one and also make money otherwise. Then 
that's the straddle buying a call and a put together in anticipation of a big move tomorrow morning now i must tell you that contraction does not tells us expansion is coming but does not give direction you have to use something else to get a sense of direction here it means that volatility is going to expand so we want to take the trade but which direction that direction comes because of your moving average or because of your higher uh, chart pattern or because of your context intraday the direction is almost very clear it's breaking if when uh, atr is breaking on the upside the prices are also probably breaking on the upside or downside on an end of day basis uh, as i told you you can simply take a straddle so that you avoid making a call on the direction but understand that atr tells us contraction and expansion it doesn't tell us the direction that's something you have to manage on your own now higher highs and is easy and simple in atr but if there was an easier method of identifying a location where the atr atr is ready to go up it's much better what we can do is we can create an rsi of the atr in trend analyzer the software that i use quite often is very easy you have to make 3 4 clicks and you can make an rsi of the atr in most other uh, programmable uh, software you can write a small code and do it so we use a five period atr and calculate a five period rsi of the atr if the rsi goes below 40 it signifies that a correction the uh, contraction is happening so now you don't have to go and search for those higher highs you can simply look at the chart and say the rsi of the atr here 1 2 3 4 5 6 if the rsi of the atr has come below 40 get ready for an expansion and position yourself this then enables you to take advantage of the periods when expansion is just starting and that's what the whole idea is that the best trades come when the market is on the verge of expanding and bursting out and this is a method that identifies when the market is doing all we have to do is to make an rsi watch it when it goes below 40 this is the rsi of the atr not of the price get positioned once it goes below 40 this is the way we change the simple concept of the rsi and the atr and make it into something much more usable the atr rsi is a systematic method that gives clear signals thank you for watching this video these are our contact uh, details again you are we putting it on the screen in case you haven't noted it down do so hope we'll meet again thank you for coming bye